this is my two and a half inch uh, got a two and a half inch to two inch and then a two inch to one inch and I've decided to try this one canting it uh, down instead of up and it uh, seems like it's working okay this is all I have underneath is uh, well, I'll show you later because it's about to overflow it's just starting it takes it about 10 seconds uh, to kick in and it's uh, and it's soft and it's really fast it's it's pretty well fine-tuned I uh, that's all you know I've got about two inches of drop and about two inches of runoff and that's all I need on the underside and it's fine-tuning it on the underside time and again I'm getting about a uh, you know, 10 to 15 second uh, fire on my siphon and of course it's breaking extremely strong all right this is with it in the middle and it just started overflowing uh, it doesn't seem to be too much difference And I'm going to try it uh, on top. This is with the bins on top. And it's about to overflow. It's just starting to overflow. There's not, uh, doesn't appear to be very much difference. Uh, canting it at 45, whether you have the bins, you know, side, on the sideways, or on top, or on the bottom at a 45, uh, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. I really like this two and a half inch pipe. It, uh, it drains. <laughs> I like the way it breaks. It's it, you don't have to wonder when it breaks. It's uh, got that big mouth on it at the bottom down there, and it takes a big gulp of air, drains really quick, and gets a really strong break. And uh, that's what I'm going to be using probably. I'm gonna. I haven't uh, you know made it to fit in the 16 string pipe yet. I will. I've got room to do that. Uh, and I thought about trying it with a, uh, and I may try it with a one and a quarter inch two and a half to uh, one and a quarter and uh, see what I can might as well since I've got this set up this is the uh, two and a half to one and a quarter I don't know if it's going to work or not I'm using some bushings and stuff just had to use some spare parts uh, I put together and I do I do have a one inch bulkhead so uh, you know that's restricting the flow on the bottom I mean, that's what I'm stuck with a one inch bulkhead but I still want to see how this works, see if it uh, works well and softens faster and time it. So far it seems to be doing fine, in spite of the fact it's uh, kind of redneck engineered. Of course, look who's doing the engineering. <laughs> and this is the uh, one and a quarter inch to three quarter inch with two 45s to, uh, on the stand pipe. To bring the stand pipe back into the center of the gravel guard you know so that if you've already got your four inch gravel guard set up well four inch if you're using one inch to one half inch uh, pipe uh, then you know and it's you already got it full of gravel and it's lined the bulkheads in the center of the drain um, you can use the 45s to, you know, I guess you could just use a heat gun or something and, you know, and bend the pipe a little bit and probably have better results. Um, and this is with the three quarter inch uh, bends in the pipe with about, you know, maybe two inches of runoff and two inches of drop on the underside. And uh, it did work with the uh, one inch. Um, it took it just a little bit longer. It was like 20 seconds or so. And there's the break. And so it was a little bit quicker with the, uh, and so you could siphon with less 
water. Uh, you know, if you just went with a three quarter inch, which that is a three quarter inch stamp pipe, and then the three quarter inch on the bottom, and it's using a bushing because it's a one inch bulkhead. But it does work, but it only works sideways. Uh, you know, I tried it uh, canted upwards and uh, tried it canted downwards. Seemed like it worked in one of the other positions, but not as well. So if you're going to use the 245s to bring it back into the uh, center of the, of the drain uh, of your gravel guard uh, to try to center it up, you're going to have to go with the sideways position.